everybody. This is Pam Coey. I'm about to show you how I took eight really ugly slot boards and turned them into these eight final paintings. So I hope you enjoy the process. You're going to see my slot boards, uh, working on them all at one time. And then I'll show you the final works as we go through this very long series for YouTube. Thanks very much. Please comment below the videos. Hi, everybody. This is going to be a quick demo on how I do assert and obliterate. I've actually already asserted my black on top of my white gesso gesso panel it's 12 by 12 inches in acrylic and now i'm going to obliterate the black but i'm going to assert over the white with black paint so i'm going to reverse the two where it's black i'm going to make it white or it's white i'm going to make it black it doesn't have to be exact it's kind of just um a little bit random too like i don't have to i don't have to stay within these shapes like when i convert this to white i can certainly make a new shape so when you obliterate, you can either stay within the shape or you can go outside the shape and, and obliterate just part of it. But this is one of my favorite ways of working. It's uh, very flexible. It moves a painting forward whenever um, you're trying to just build layers and build history and build interest. And you can do it you know, with black and white. You can do it with color. There's, there are no rules. So I'm just going to do this board right now. Got my three containers of water, which I can kind of move off to the side. And then I just have my towel over here. I'm gonna grab the brush. I'm, I'm also concerned uh, right now with um, just the black and white. I'm not going to be adding color just yet. So um, I could start, uh, let's see here. I think I'll start by putting on the white actually. It's a little bit easier to see if I cover up the black with the white first, because I like to leave a little bit of an edge showing where it used to be black. I'll show you what I mean. I just take the white paint and basically obliterate. So I'm obliterating my black shape. This could be a color. It could be any color, but in this case, it's just black. So I'm obliterating this. I leave a little bit of an edge so I can kind of see a little bit of the history of what used to be here. And again, I don't have to be exact with this at all. I don't have to stay within any particular shape. I'm just obliterating what was there. It can be more interesting sometimes if you just completely reverse whatever was black. So I can do that. And that was kind of my idea just for the fun of it. So it, it, this is really play for me. This is not thinking because you don't have to think when you just go back into a shape and change its color or its value or both. And that's really what I'm doing right now. I'm just changing the color, going from black to white, changing, changing the value from dark to light. And you can do this back and forth and back and forth. It gets really interesting really fast. And this is one of my series boards. I could add color to this, you know, after I do this part. But I just like to do one thing at a time and not think too far ahead. This takes a lot less concentration. I mean, there's no concentration at all. I'm basically just uh, reversing the values. Very easy to do and fun. See that white paint's really not as opaque as you might think. I mean, if you really want it to be white, you have to go over it a few times. It's actually quite transparent, semi-transparent. This is titanium white. All right, so I'm going to hit that with a hair dryer. Again, I don't have to stay within all these little tiny pieces. Uh, I'm going to just come in here like this and wherever I feel like putting in this dark black, I will put it in, creating a brand new composition. 
I do like circles and geometry, so this is really fun for me. And not really paying attention to anything, just having fun. The main thing I'm doing here is really trying to get rid of all the gessoed areas in a very quick and fun way. I consider this to be fun. Doesn't require any thinking. I actually like how this is a more of a rectilinear edge here, so I'm gonna start to do that with more of my circle shapes. Just an observation, responding to something I saw that I liked. Wipe off your painter's edge right away. I'm going to dry this again and get out my slot board. Any slot board will do. Let's get most of my paint out of my brush. Okay. And now I'm going to dry this. into white again and pretty soon maybe I'll move this one into color so now I'm going to keep little slivers of black and this whole painting is going to go very high key with lots of white and this then is so much more interesting than a blank gessoed panel there's so much more interest than if I just started off with a plain panel. Some of the paint's still a little bit wet, the black. It's okay. Now I'm taking my palette paper. I don't like to waste paint and so because this is a slop board, uh, I am actually just turning over my palette paper and adding the very same colors to the surface of this painting. And as you can see, I've gotten, uh, gone from black and white to lots of color. That's the way I like it. And you're going to see how this painting becomes this painting. Stay tuned.